before our very eyes. Although the vast majority of evolutionary change took place before any human being was born, some examples are so fast that we can see evolution happening with our own eyes during one human lifetime. The Lizards of Podmakaru There are two small islets off the Croatian coast called Podkopisti and Podmakaru. In 1971, a population of common Mediterranean lizards, Podarkis sicula, which mainly eat insects, was present on Podkopisti, but there were none on Podmakaru. In that year, experimenters transported five pairs of Podarkis sicula from Podkopisti and released them on Podmakaru. Then, in 2008, another group of mainly Belgian scientists associated with Antony Herrell visited the islands to see what had happened. They found a flourishing population of lizards on Podmakaru, which DNA analysis confirmed were indeed Podarkis sicula. These are presumed to have descended from the original five pairs that were transported. Herald and his colleagues made observations on the descendants of the transported lizards and compared them with lizards living on the original ancestral island. There were marked differences. The scientists made the probably justified assumption that the lizards on the ancestral island, Podkopisti, were unchanged representatives of the ancestral lizards of 36 years before. In other words, they presumed they were comparing the evolved lizards of Podmakaru with their unevolved ancestors, meaning their contemporaries but of ancestral type, on Podkopisti. Even if this presumption is wrong, even if, for example, the lizards of Podkopisti have been evolving just as fast as the lizards of Podmakaru, we are still observing evolutionary divergence in nature over a timescale of decades, the sort of timescale that humans can observe within one lifetime. And what were the differences between the two island populations, differences that had taken a mere 37 years or so to evolve? The Podmakaru lizards, the evolved population, had significantly larger heads than the original Podkopisti population, longer, wider and taller heads. This translates into a markedly greater bite force. A change of this kind typically goes with a shift to a more vegetarian diet, and sure enough, the lizards of Podmakaru eat significantly more plant material than the ancestral type on Podkopisti. From the almost exclusive diet of insects still enjoyed by the modern Podkopisti population, the lizards on Podmakaru had shifted to a largely vegetarian diet, especially in summer. Why would an animal need a stronger bite when shifting to a vegetarian diet? Because plant, but not animal, cell walls are stiffened by cellulose. Herbivorous mammals, like horses, cattle and elephants, have great millstone-like teeth for grinding cellulose, quite different from the shearing teeth of carnivores and the needly teeth of insectivores. And they have massive jaw muscles and correspondingly robust skulls for the muscle attachments. Think of the stout midline crest along the top of a gorilla's skull. Vegetarians also have characteristic peculiarities of the gut, Animals generally can't digest cellulose without the aid of bacteria or other microorganisms, and many vertebrates set aside a blind alley in the gut called the cecum, which houses such bacteria and acts as a fermentation chamber. Our appendix is a vestige of the larger cecum in our more vegetarian ancestors. The cecum and other parts of the gut can become quite elaborate in specialist herbivores. Carnivores usually have simpler guts than herbivores and smaller too. Among the complications that become inserted in herbivore guts are things called sequel valves. Valves are incomplete partitions, sometimes muscular, which can serve to regulate or slow down the flow of material through the gut or simply increase the surface area of the interior of the cecum. Now, the fascinating thing is that although sequel valves don't normally occur in Podarchis sicula and are rare in the family to which it belongs, those valves have actually started to evolve in the populations of Podarchis sicula on Podmakaru, the population that has, for only the past 37 years, 
been evolving towards herbivory. The investigators discovered other evolutionary changes in the lizards of Podmakaru. The population density increased, and the lizards ceased to defend territories in the way that the ancestral populations on Pobkopisti did. I should repeat that the only thing that is really exceptional about this whole story, and the reason I'm telling it here, is that it all happened so extremely rapidly, in a matter of a few decades, evolution before our very eyes.